Daryl, 2-0. Um, your thoughts on the game today? Started the game well. Gave them a rubbish goal. Uh, very angry at half-time. Just, just because we got in good areas of the pitch in the final third. And decided to cross it behind the goal. The final ball was, was massively lacking. Sloppy. Uh, would we say, should I say, with my match winners on the pitch. Very, very sloppy. So, uh, for me, not good enough. Then I thought we started the second half really well. Really on the front foot, first 20, 25 minutes, had two great chances, Byron and, and Kyle Bennett. And, and it's, it's one of those, it seems, I say to the lads in there, you've got to finish those chances against better teams because they don't come around that often. You've got to be clinical. And I can go over the last two, three, four games, and whether it's be strikers, centre halves at corners or, or wide players, they've got to, the, the chances we've created against the better teams we have to hit the back of the net. Otherwise, you know, they, when we're chasing the game, they score a late one on the counter. Is that the difference between you and playoff chasing teams? Well, I, both ends of the pitch? I mean, it's a word I've used massively in the, in the change rooms there, to be honest with you. But also, I think uh, what players have got to realise is, in, you know, I, again, in every ounce I can, I think, out of this group of players. And I've just said it to there, not one, not one player in my, in my career has bit me on the backside. So, for me, they've got to keep showing me or trying to show me that they're going to be top six players and we fall short on on a few few things, clinical, uh, game management, there when we were chasing a game, decision making, rushing things, you know, making bad decisions. And they're all, all the elements of, for me, of what a top six team is. So we've got to keep working on that, keep keep trying to, trying to progress that, change things around a little bit in the summer as well to try, try and keep to, to overachieve to get the top six. I think everybody realises that, knows where we're at with that. But it doesn't stop me demanding a lot more from me from my players and if not they will fall by the wayside unfortunately how much change is needed in the summer it, we're gonna have to always be very proactive the league's gonna be more competitive next year so we'll we'll see what what's what I've got to play with and, and see how we move things freshen things up that's got to be the case in every window I'd imagine because that's that's the way that's the way it's gonna have to be Three games still to go. Are some players walking a little tightrope to convince you they're part of their plans for next season? Yeah, players are always, like I say, I mean, I don't want to be too, too harsh on the lads because I think the performances have been strong, gutsy just lately. But, you know, when, when you're looking where we're falling short, for me, there's a few obvious places where we're falling short, to be honest with you. So we have to rectify that in the summer. But uh, sometimes you've got to go for finished articles or, or, or whatnot and, and, and think about the process of how we're going to recruit those sort of players. And like I say, I've said it before, is it, the difficult thing for me is, is when, you, when you see the surrounding of football clubs like this, is the better players tend to want to go to somewhere where there is that, shall we say, progression. And my players have to show that they're hungry enough to, to achieve that and pro progress with, with our club. So it's not just Daryl Clark who, who can change things and affect things off the pitch as no, well? No, no, I mean, that's not, that's not having a dig at all because no, no. I know where we're at. No, no not at all. I, I'm quite excited about the future. I'm frustrated about today. I'm, I'm an emotional guy after the game. I'm frustrated because every every sleeping minute of the day, uh, oh, sorry, every day, minute of the day, I want to want to try and produce us to, to try and uh, get into that top six and get out of this division. Yeah, James Clark kicking himself with the first goal. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a very, very poor, poor error. He, uh, normally very reliable James Clark and yeah again you're probably seeing you know Joe Partington and, and Dan Ledbitter you know Clark he does a job at right back but we lose that attacking threat down the right hand side of the pitch as well at times with a fullback getting on the the overlap but uh, yeah it'd be disappointing with his mistake but I'm sure he brushed himself down and maybe Byron and Kyle had your best chances to equalize great before they scored on the counter great chances we created the best two chances of the game haven't we I mean the second half was was very bitty uh, a lot of stops in play but we got a after that, we've got to game manage it that last 10, 15 minutes better to have more control like we did for the first 20, 25 minutes of the second half. And, and even at times in the first half, we're getting plenty of territory, getting players in dangerous areas, but us just not producing. You know, And I'm not going to just stand here and blame the strikers because I thought the, the quality to, to the strikers, the deliveries in the box and the final ball weren't good enough today. And I think I could have played any strikers and he, he wasn't there. They're currently 12th in League One. Is that just about right or is that a bit harsh? No. I think the, the table won't lie where we where we finish. Uh, that that will show where you are. But like I say, very competitive league. I think uh, I'm going to take the emotion out today. We're now an established League One club. We are, I believe, moving in the right direction. Certainly on the football side of things, with what we're building behind that, 
and we'll, we'll continue to do that and, and, and keep working hard to keep trying to progress it and get in the higher regions of League One. And raise your game on Tuesday and try and support well, the Wigan party. Yes, no, certainly. So uh, I'm sure our fans will be out in two home games now to, to finish off our own campaign. So we want to finish our own form on, on a high with these two games coming up. Thank you as always. Thank you. Cheers.